so it's about a million and ten degrees outside and I am not looking forward to heading to the desert. Uh, it is top drift round three weekend. Today, right now, actually, is practice and I was not able to attend just because I want to preserve tires and since the round is going to be taking place at Walt James, that track eats tires. Eats, eats, eats tires for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I only have six tires right now. Six. Yeah. And most people that make it all the way to podium use like 20. So I decided to just skip practice day, show up tomorrow bright and early, and do one practice session, hopefully get the line down, and go from there. But I have been hearing from a couple of my buddies that are there, like Daryl and Micah, that the track is different. I've been seeing posts online. They changed the course layout to something I've never seen in the past, so that should be uh, pretty interesting. I'm a little worried, but I think it'll be a good time. I'm kind of glad they're changing it because the other layout um, I think people were getting used to. So it's been pretty cool. They've been changing a lot of the layouts um, of the tracks this year and changing it up, keeping the drivers on their toes. Obviously, like usually the night before a track day involves a lot of prep. This time there isn't a ton of prep to do on the Z. Probably fill up some top off the trans fluid, call it a day. And then uh, right now we're actually gonna head over to Habibi Motorsports and service the truck, my tow rig, which is actually my dad's uh, 2013 F-150 EcoBoost. Love that truck, but it's nearing around 100,000 miles, so it's due for kind of a big service. Hopefully the rest of the night goes good. Since we're gonna be on the road by 6 a.m., hopefully, my goal is to be asleep by 10. 10 tonight, so let's see if that's even humanly possible on the, on the day before race day. I'll be very surprised. Georgie, yeah. what are you doing? I am finishing up the tune-up on this truck right here. I just, uh, I just finished installing the spark plugs, yeah, yeah. and now I'm putting the coils back on, locking the tabs down, <laughs> putting the covers back on. Do you think when you're done you could show us, I mean, me, the shop? The shop's a little dirty right now. Actually, really, really dirty right now. What's that? Don't look like one to me. So you don't just build race cars. No, I do maintenance also. And I just did the rear brakes. Is that how you deal with me? Because I'm high maintenance? Oh, that's a good one. Did you eat this whole pizza by yourself? So this is another part of my prep uh, is this tape. And it is colorful red tape that I'm going to put on my front wheels. The top drift judges don't like when you have dark wheels because they're not able to see corrections, front wheel corrections, steering corrections. If you're going top, top drift, here's a pro tip. Use tape or paint your front wheels or put a stripe on it. Wow, freaking Ford, always reading everything. And uh, save yourself some trouble. Unless you want to play dirty on purpose, but it's not going to work out for you. There you go. What else do you have left? Wash it. Okay, so what time are we going to sleep tonight? 10. You're gonna be in bed by 10 asleep. I'm, down. I'm gonna be in bed by 10 asleep. What time are you gonna to get to bed? Hey, what time is it right now? I have no idea. Yeah, it's 8 o'clock, it's 40. And we don't have a race car on the back of the truck yet. So do you think 10 o'clock is not happening? It's very slight, but it might happen. No, it's gonna happen. You're such not a believer. Okay. Shun the non-believer. Call the realist. Shun. Don't you shun me. It's 11.48 at night and we haven't loaded the car. We're still at the shop. We're still at I the shop. I have to fix the truck again. But anyways, check this out. Wait, 
Ready here. Go ahead. Just do it. Tap it. Now hold it up in that sky. Hold it up. Hold it up. Now look here. Look at the bottom of the bottle. Do you see it forming? I see nothing happening. Let me see. This Nothing's one. happening. This is not it. Okay, look, look, look. Do you see it forming into ice? No. So it's already like pretty freaking late and we haven't done much we haven't gone to the trailer we haven't loaded the race car we haven't gone gas i had a very short list of things that needed to be done and uh we just haven't done them yet and so we decided to call it a night because we wanted to sleep and uh we're gonna load in the morning so sick oh my gosh I'm about to crash what time is it 4 54 big block chevy it's 4 54 in the morning and Still have no race car. I'm tired. So it's 6.15 a.m. and we were supposed to be on the road at 6, but we're still making good time. We're making great time because we didn't load anything last night, but we're all loaded. I'm ready to go. See you at Willow Springs. Seven twenty-six. Driver's meeting starts in four minutes, and we're uh, probably like an hour away. We made it to Top Drift finally, and we made it on time. We made it for driver's meeting, and I'll show you guys the course layout in a little bit. But um, they changed everything up. It's pretty crazy. I think it'll be good. Um, I literally only have like one set of tires to practice on and I missed all of practice yesterday. So let's see how we can do. So it's the first lap I'm watching. Let's see how Milton shows us how the new track we finished with practice I got about four to five laps in not even close to eight four to five you got more than four no it's yeah. definitely five not no, you got about seven no I didn't yes, did. okay name them <laughs> Six, seven. name them how am I supposed to name you, you the name first lap Shaniqua no Sharonda. no who did I go with the first lap right was the one I almost crashed right the second lap, the second lap is when I followed Tim, I mean uh, Dom, and I got lost in the smoke. The third lap is when Tim was following me, and I told him to get me. The fourth lap is when Abe was following me, and he got me. That's the ready drive right there. Get it right there. Oh, oh my goodness.
Alrighty, I'd love to have eight laps. So I've had a total of five practice laps. And as you've heard me recap, the first lap was a uh, very, very, very sketchy. So what I normally do is I, I switch to a 245, 40, 18, uh, Zestino Gredge RS. And the 245s were awesome. I had run 255s in the beginning of the season, it was just too much grip. So the 245s were money. However, I went into this round with six brand new tires and those brand new tires are all 255s. So we started the pressure off at 35 pounds. 30? Oh dang, no wonder. Wow. Yeah, so first lap was 30. Well, I kind of figured it was really hot out, so it seemed like it was a good idea. Yeah, wasn't a great idea because I almost crashed. Cut to the footage. Uh oh, what's he doing? Wow, nice save. <laughs> now I'm stealing Hoonigan stuff. Leave a comment below. <laughs> comment below. Comment below. <laughs> no, I'm not stealing Hoonigan stuff, I promise. Sorry, guys. But, anyways, um. We, uh, I almost crashed into a barrier. That was super, super embarrassing. And then the second lap, I thought, oh, okay, let me follow Dom, like he's really good. And I wanted to, to gap him a little bit because I, you know, like suck right now. And so that was a mistake because Dom throws up the most amounts of smoke out of anyone here. So I was completely blind going and didn't know where I was on track at all. After that, what was it? My, I can't remember my third lap for some reason. Because my fourth lap was the best one. My fourth and fifth one. But I cannot remember my third lap. I'm not sure why. Anyway, irrelevant lap number three. Skip to number four, and I don't know what happened, but I was able to figure it out. And the one thing that helped me, uh, well, Dan talked about, Brad Dan, talked about when you initiate, he just kind of like, haul ass just like straight into the first turn and then front brake foot brake and like initiate into it so that's what i've been doing on, on the initiation that gives me a lot of speed going in and then um micah gave me the advice of what he calls a manzition a manly way to transition which is don't let off the throttle and so that's been helping me go from bank one to bank two with a lot more speed and commitment. So I think those two things are good. The judges were like super stoked. And for that, I, I'll take that. The cool, well, I have a lot of challenges. Like I'm making second gear work. Like this is normally a third gear track. It's like a really high speed track. But since I've had more grip in the car now with the Zestinos, and, and I have a really, really horrible drive. final it's drive. Horrible it's, a, it's stock, it's a three five. So I'm I'm literally doing everything in second gear. So at the at the mid to end of the each of the banks, it gets a little tricky, but I'm just making it work somehow. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. That's good. It works. But see, now if someone asks me what I'm doing, I don't know. You're making it work. I'm just driving. Right my car has been. I mean, my the race car has been getting up yeah, to. Yeah, see, it's 101. 101. Is, is it drivers meeting? Where, are there any drivers anywhere? Oh, I think it's driver's meeting. Uh, so look at your truck. It's, it's always stuck It always 80. says 87. Look, it's 101. But the race car has been getting up to 220 every single lap. Okay, let's go. Driver's meeting, I think. I think. I don't actually know what's happening. Are you vlogging? Uh, Are you jealous? Dude, it's like... Uh, J.I. I think the battery's dying though because it's acting kind of weird. Uh, possibly. <laughs> I've had it for... Yeah, see, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> yes. your iPhone this question? Okay. What makes you rad? That's a good question. Uh, Most people, the, the, the really rad people, like, bam, they're already answering. Like, so what are you trying to say, that I'm not really rad? I would say what makes me rad is that I don't quit. 
Okay. Okay, okay so what makes you rad? Um, a couple things. Let's we could say personality. I just am myself. I like I have my mullet. I like to like bring my style to my car. And then just being friendly and like being, you know, part of all this makes me rad. Aww. Dan, that brought tears to my eyes. Yay! Another thing that makes me rad is my voice it doesn't ever change. Excited, <laughs> impressed, it just sounds stoned. Monotone, stoned all the way. But it's not, I'm not stoned. That's the cool part. I got a question for you, Dan. Huh. What do you think on the. Sorry for interrupting you guys. Coming off of this oh, bank real through questions. the. the This foot will go in, <laughs> but this foot always stays down that whole time. It's like a wheel marker, so the judges can see what you're doing. Working hard today? Oh, Sorry to hold you up. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one, you too. Thank you. <laughs> Got to go. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna be the Take first one. Take a bite! Yeah, what is that? Oh my goodness. I'm not sharing this no more. I thought that was yours. I need to go talk to Micah. No, Micah's on the tracks. Hey! Hey! Hey, Rossi and Omar. Who are you talking like to? Murder. Rome Charpentier. Okay, is he first? Like, like French Canadian. Like first gear? So he's going to be comedian. No, he's in top Canadian. two right now. Okay, so what's, like, what is, what's, which what is, what's, what happened was Micah Diaz stopped to polish his rims, <laughs> and the, uh, the truck is changing tires, I think. Oh Mr. Diaz, uh, Can you tell Micah he needs to get way closer, way closer. And Rathina said, get way, way, way closer. Way. Hey, I believe in you, bro. You can do it, man. Man, this shit, all right? Give me a thumbs up. Where's he at? I can't even see him. It doesn't even give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna slap him when he gets that. Hey, this is his battle for podium. Dude, yeah, this is first podium. What'd you say? <laughs> He's focusing right now. Yeah, don't It's cool. Aaron, he was straight, bro. He straight the whole time behind you. Dang, he shot the ball the right.
because you don't want to do it. Wait, did he point at Micah? Micah got it. Honestly, yeah, it gave but me. But not with a modified knuckle. I'm happy. You're the best. Yeah, You're the best. Yes. And here's the famous, famous dad, dad of the year. Can I even see him? Dad of the year. What's up? What's up? Oh, Taco wants to be dad of the year. Well. You have 12 silver. Well, that's yeah. beautiful. Man. And you said that you love the sound of a V8. Yes. It's your first, it's your first I have time. one Sylvia with one V8. Yeah. What V8? Yeah, with a V8. LS one. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Wow. Yeah. From the Philippines, you heard it. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. <laughs> it's full of 2Js and RVs. Yeah, that's beautiful. But he prefers a V8. Oh. Right now. <laughs> hey, Supras. Yeah? Supra owners. Uh -huh. I just want you to know that Homeboy from the Philippines just said that there's tons of 2Js in the Philippines, but right now he likes driving a V8 better. Wow. How do you that's, feel? That's cool. <laughs> then we get all the 2Js for ourselves. And see, people keep trying to take the motor out of our cars. It's like, leave them alone. Oh, you're that much of Dismantle your You're Camaro. not about 2J swaps. You just want them in the Supra. Have you ever seen any of my cars that were swapped? I don't know. They're all, it's like a natural more Toyota with a Toyota motor in it. That's Jeff. Um, I was really thinking about my driving and where it's, where it's, where it is currently, how far it's come. And I will say, I have grown a ton as a driver, a ton. And I don't want to discredit myself because I have come a long way to be able to put down points, to be able to show up and put together a, a qualifying score um, with minimal practice. I will say that that's not something I would have been able to do before. Whereas um, now, I, I, I feel a lot more confident in myself. You know, all in due time, I might not be the world's best natural drifter in the world. There's been people that have picked it up and in less than a year are, you know, qualifying high and making podiums. All I can do is what I can do, and all I can do is keep trying, so uh, that's that. I guess we'll see you guys at round four.
question. Did you steal Georgia's detail spray um, from 8 6 Plus? 